If you have a struggled with clunky test management tools, you know how frustrating it can be. From poor UX to slow performance and a lack of automation first features. Most systems just don't keep up with the realities of modern QA. And while building out my test skill tool matcher, I evaluated a ton of test management options. And to be honest, most of them came up short. But one tool really stood out for doing things a little bit differently, and that's browser stack test management. So what really made it stand out? Well, it's designed with speed and usability in mind. It supports automation from the ground up. And what caught my eye, it uses AI to help teams stay organized, track progress, and release with confidence. And it's definitely worth a look if your current tool is holding you back. So here's a quick review to get you up to speed with browser stack test management. And so first up is its AI-powered test case generation that I think can actually help save you time. So have you ever wished you could skip the manual grunt work of writing test cases? That's where AI agents come in. And with BrowserStack's test case generator agent, you can instantly spin up test cases for PRDs, Jira stories, or just plain text prompts. It autofills the details to help you build out solid, ready-to-use cases without starting from scratch. And it's not just faster, I think it's a smarter way to also help get test coverage without burning hours. So let's see it in action. All right, so once you're in the test case dashboard, click on the Generate with AI. Your data is fully private and secure. Select the destination folder where you want the test cases to be added. In this model that extends from the right, you can upload your product requirement document. In this example, we're using an Apple Checkout PRD PDF. Here's the content of the BRD file. Now click on the Generate with Test Cases. So let's watch how the AI agent extracts the context from the information provided in the document. So in this example, 61 test cases are generated in less than a minute with 97% accuracy according to BrowserStack. Now let's review one of the test cases generated. Along with creating the test case, AI has automatically populated all the key details such as the description, preconditions, steps, expected results, and more, all based on the uploaded BRD. You can easily edit any of the AI-generated fields if needed. Once finalized, simply add the selected test cases to your repository. Here, you could see the AI-generated test cases that have been added. So as you can see, this really can help you with no more hours spent analyzing requirements and writing test cases. With the test case generator agent, you can achieve, once again, according to BrowserStack, 90% faster test case creation and improved test coverage by 50%. Test management also features a test duplication agent that automatically detects duplicate test cases across your repository and provides intelligent recommendations for merging or removing them. With the low-code authoring agent, accelerate test development by converting test cases into low-code automated tests. The test selection agent helps you decide which test to execute by identifying the most relevant test in a test run. Another thing that really stood out with this tool is the UI UX that can help you be more productive. With BrowserStack's test management, you could boost user productivity with its modern UI and intuitive workflows. No learning curve, just seamless usability. You can easily perform bulk edit functions in a few clicks as well. You can easily drag and drop test cases across folders. You can create shared steps and apply them to multiple test cases, saving you time and effort in creating test cases. You can add comments and collaborate with your team members. You can easily search and filter test cases based on existing parameters. You can easily create, manage, and track both manual and automated test runs and view the status of the test cases as pass, failed, or skipped. For manual test runs, you can add devices, iOS, and browser configurations and start a browser stack live session to execute them directly from test management. 
also helps you with automated test runs. So the test management supports the integration of automated test runs via JUnit XML uploaded using CLI commands. And browser stack reporting and analytics use the browser stack SDK. Each automated run shows the build name, unique build identifier, name of the user who triggered the build, number of test sessions, also visible on metrics such as passed, failed, skipped, test duration, and failure categorization. When you open an automated test run, you will see two key sections, insights and tests. The insights section includes build summary, build history for tracking trends, and flakiness to flag unstable tests, unique error grouping for faster root cause analysis, and quality profiles, which define configurable thresholds. The test section provides individual test session details, device and browser configurations, and interactive timeline debugging for comparing runs with the previous builds. Clicking on a test session shows a wide range of data like video logs, text logs, and network logs. How about test plans? Well, all your test plans can also be managed from a central dashboard where you can easily switch between active and completed test plans. You can select any test plan and see the detailed information. Here, you could track your overall test plan progress, view results from all linked test runs, and see all the test runs linked to this test plan. You also get a bunch of project insights and dashboards. So next we have the dashboards feature. At the top of the dashboard, you'll see the time filters that allows you to adjust the reporting period. Below that, you can see all your active test runs categorized by their status. You can also find the data on closed test runs grouped by the month they were completed. You can review the outcomes of these closed test runs. You also get insights into your test coverage, types of test cases, testing trends, and defect trend graph. All dashboards can be filtered by owner or assignees. And you can even share the dashboard via a private link or a public link. You also have the option to export the data in CSV. You also have two additional tabs in the Project Insight dashboard, Automation Health and Unique Errors. The Automation Health tab provides data around how your automated tests are performing. So it includes metrics like failed execution count, average test duration, and average failure rate, all of which can be viewed over a customizable timeline. Next you can see a detailed list of tests. Clicking on any tests provides a timeline view. You can select a particular execution and view the recorded execution, helping you investigate issues precisely. The unique error tab helps you analyze the types of errors that are most frequently occurring across your tests. Both of these features, automation health and unique errors are extremely helpful for debugging and root cause analysis as they eliminate the need to manually check each failed test, saving you a bunch of time. Test management also provides multiple comprehensive reports, which include traceability reports, test run summary and detail report, test plan summary report, and a test case activity report. The requirement traceability report allows you to filter and view all linked requirements, requirements organized by priority, automation coverage metrics, unique defects logged, linked requirements, associated test cases, test run results, defect configuration, and test plans. You can easily download, schedule, and email this report, and also share it via a public or private link. The test run summary report provides total number of test runs, total number of test cases, number of linked issues, 
in test cases and test run breakups. You can also see the defect linked to the test results and requirements, which are linked to the test run and a graph for the same is also available. The test run detailed report provides a timeline view of the test run performance for each test case. So in this report, you will find the number of active and closed test runs, total test cases, the number of linked issues, and a granular view of each test case covered in the report. The test case activity report provides insights into the activities the test case created in browser stack test management. It shows the number of test cases created along with the automation coverage and AI coverage of the test cases, test case trends, and priority of test cases created. So say you have an existing system. What about migration? Well, you can import your test data within 24 hours via their user-friendly UI wizard or CSV file. No data loss, no interruption. So as you can see, you can easily migrate test cases using the quick import feature from your existing test management tool or using CSV. Integrations, they got it. They have over 50 plus integrations with CI CD tools and automation frameworks. You can even get two way sync with Jira. And a lot of big companies actually use the tool. So they're recognized as a leader in the G2 grid report and trusted by more than 75,000 users across some of the top global brands. Browser stat test management is built for scale that you need. All right. So if you've been stuck with clunky tools, that slow your team down or leave your test data management scattered across spreadsheets, it might be time to try something built for today's QA challenges. And as we saw, browser stack test management brings together AI, usability, and powerful reporting all in one platform that just makes sense for modern testing teams. But hey, just don't take my word for it. Hit the link down below and start your free trial to see for yourself how much time and effort you could save. It's fast to get started, and honestly, you'll know within minutes if it's a better fit for your team. Give it a spin and let me know what you think in the comments down below as well. And as always, to start everything and keep the good. Cheers.